to What's Growing at CMC, the weekly segment where I, Daniel, and I, Talasha, share with you about some of what God is up to here at College Mennonite Church. First, a big thank you to Don Yost and Lisa Kasky for guest hosting last week. What they didn't tell you about was the big role that they played in creating the sabbatical grant proposal. These two formed our dream team and met regularly with us for a couple months to discern together the theme and activities for the proposal. Dwayne Stoltzfus also played a large role, and many of you filled out the survey that helped us find our sense of direction. Thank you to all of you. We are excited for the growth and renewal that will happen for this congregation and for us next summer. We have all been inspired over the years as we have watched Hannah Lind grow up. At each age, she finds new ways to contribute to the life of the congregation. Now, as a young adult, she does things like leading children's singing and stuffing mailboxes for student aid. Thank you, Hannah. We are so glad you're part of our church family. Birthday time! There are two birthdays coming up in the next seven days. Happy birthday to Laura Dick and to Gloria Holub. We have some more travel highlights, too. Bill and Phyllis Miller have just returned from a trip to the West Coast. They traveled by train and found that to be very relaxing. They visited with friends and family, including being part of their great-granddaughter Helen's first birthday. They enjoyed the giant redwoods and beautiful scenery. And they happened to run into fellow CMC travelers Joe and Linda Christoffel on the Oregon coast. Two of our church members will be traveling to San Antonio, Texas, November 13 through 30. Merlin and Eileen Becker Hoover will serve with soup. Service opportunities with our partners, which is a ministry of Mennonite Mission Network. Eileen and Merlin, God be with you as you prepare for your time of serving, and we cannot wait to hear your stories when you return. It has been a full year since Laura and Annalise Green were in a terrible car accident. In Growing Roots on Sunday, Laura shared that when she looks back over this past year, she can see God at work. God was in the far-reaching community who showed up with meals and prayers and cards and all kinds of help. God was in the healthcare workers who knew just what to do. And God was at work through Laura, Sam, and the girls, shining through them so that others could see God's love. Healing isn't complete, but overall, the Green family is doing well. Fern and Mark Lehman Nestegi, our church family in the Marshall Islands, send their greetings. Fern and the two children, Bea and Dakini, recently flew to her ancestral roots in Namo Atoll. Fern says, we witnessed God's grace every single day for three glorious weeks. She continues, whether it was hunting seabirds on a far-flung uninhabited island or through the permanent smiles of Daki and Bea as the children and the children there who were more than happy to share their snacks or toys with them and play with them all day long, I was reminded of the normality of communal life and care for each other as being the true source of a rich and blessed life on this fragile planet. Fern also saw God's grace in the small rural village where the adults of the village were always there to share the load of watching over young Bea and Daki. She adds, the grace of God lives within and among us. Amen, Fern. And that seems a good note to end on. God was, God is, and God will be. Thanks be to God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, 
planting and hoeing. There's something showing, popping up through the sod. The spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God.